my name is Aditya Pandya, and today I'm 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 in grade I'm in grade two. My school is William F. Halloran, and today I'm going to be reading you Picture Day Perfection. I planned it for I planned for months. This was going to be the year of the perfect school picture, but some days not everything goes according to plan. The day started with the worst case of bedhead ever. Exhibit A, front view. Exhibit B, side view. Exhibit C, back view. Exhibit D, the look on my brother's face when he saw my hair. Then it then it took me quite some time to unearth my favorite shirt. I finally found it at the very bottom of the hamper. You might call it stained. You might even you might call it wrinkled. You might even call it smelly. You wouldn't be wrong. Breakfast was picture day pancakes, a family tradition. This year's festivities involved a small syrup disaster. More dis. More accurately described as a large syrup disaster, and it occurred exactly as the bus pulled up. I had a feeling we'd be getting a new family tradition. On the bus, I got it to a small bit of trouble. Make that a large bit of trouble. The bus driver made me sit in the seat right behind him for the rest of the ride. By the time I got into school, my picture day face was fixed in a scowl. In class, Mrs. Smith collected our photo order forms. Do you think my mom checked emerald green for my photo background, or peacock blue, or pizzazzy purple? No. Once again, of all the backgrounds in the world, Mom ch checked snoring, boring, traditional gray. <laughs> no one gets traditional gray, except for me. And it just so happens to be the only color in the world that makes my favorite shirt disappear. All but the stains and the wrinkles. After that, after that, after that, the teacher had us all stand up and practice our picture day smiles. Personally, I thought we needed a little something to get us in the picture day mood. Whoops, got myself in trouble again. Luckily, I got to rejoin the class in time for art. Art involved quite a lot of paint, or at least it did for me. Finally, it was time to line up for our photos. Ned, just in front of me, got the last complimentary plastic comb. I watched as classmate after classmate smiled for the camera. I got queasy listening to everyone say cheese. I can't stand cheese. The, the, the mere thought of it turns me green, deeply green. And just as my face reads its most awful pea green shade, it was my turn. I stepped forward. I sat down on the stool. It was hard as a rock and cold as an iceberg. Just a sec, said the photographer as he fiddled with the camera knobs. As I sat and waited, everything that had happened rushed through my mind. The monstrous message, the muddles and the mix-ups, the whole day from the moment I'd rolled out of bed had gone perfectly, even better than planned. This year I was finally going to have the perfect school picture. And that's when I heard a click. In a flash, all my hard work, my perfectly tangled hair, my perfectly rumpled shirt, my perfectly sticky face, my perfectly composed scowl, that perfect boring background, those perfect paint splatters, that perfect sickly pallor. Wasted! Useless! Ruined! In a moment of weakness by an unexpected smile, Mom says it's my best picture ever. <laughs> but wait, but what, just wait till she sees next year. The end.
and I chose I chose this I chose this I chose this story because I love getting pictures and I love and I love how this story explained what happened to the boy from the beginning of the story and, and all the way until the end. And most of all, there were, there were so many different things that happened to the boy. And my favorite part was when the syrup dripped all over him and made him so shiny and sticky. Thank you for watching my video. I'll probably see you next time. Bye.